So, last day, second to last day out here. We're making the inevitable walk of shame, yeah. like many hundreds of other people need to do here and pull out. Getting tested before we can head out. What you gotta do, what you gotta oh, do. Oh, Went for the Hail Mary, changed my flight. <laughs> $7,000 was not my bank account, so. It's enough for forced, four flights out here. Forced, forced to leave my, uh, forced to leave tonight. The struggle is real. Hate to see it. Yeah, we do. We do hate to see that, man. <sighs> but at least we get this for a few more hours. Yeah. Uh -uh. So at least our plan was a success. We had originally come. Bye. Hey. Bye, CK. Bye. <laughs> Got students out here in the house, former students. But yeah, the plan worked. We tried to come earlier, around 8.15, and the line was all the way back here. Farther. Further. Yeah, it was all the way back there, actually. Yeah, sound like three. So. <laughs> We do get a leg up. What's up, man? Yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm good. <laughs> I'm getting my attitude. I'm going to go to that. Same. He'll be on that flight. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir, man. I'll see you around. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. It's fresh minute. That was a bust. Thomas is able to get his right now because they're just doing the antigen, which is 24 hours. His flight leaves within 24 hours, mine doesn't. So, wait a second. Where's the car? Park all the way down here? Hold on a second. Anyways, I'll find the car in a second. What I was gonna say is, it's a bust because since my flight doesn't leave until Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I can't get the test right now. It wouldn't let me get the PCR, which is okay. Just means I gotta come back in the morning. I was going to come chill in the car, but I've never been out there before. So we're going to check that out. We'll find the car later. Actually, oh, I was one. There it is. I was one curb too soon. <laughs> All right, anyways. This is kind of dope. It's kind of wearing away, but hey, we're still out here. Check that out. Big old hole in this thing. As long as it doesn't collapse on me, we'll be all right. <laughs> just water or whatever that broke this thing down like this. Pretty cool. I'm trying to get my shirt all sweaty out here on this little adventure because we're supposed to be having lunch after this, about 40 minutes. So, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. They're out here. I actually wonder if I can find out what this thing is even for. Because it's not deep. On either side. So, I don't think it has any boats. Maybe it's to block. Maybe 
the incoming storms from that way. There's a lot of development down here. I don't know. If you're from Palau and you're watching this, um, help me out. Let me know. What's, what's, this, what's this thing for? Put it in the comments below or just direct message or something. I'm gonna go. I ain't trying to get caught in any high tide or anything. So, uh, let's see what we got. Crocs might not be the best for this. I'll protect my feet well enough, but. These rocks can be really slippery sometimes. All this uh, algae slash moss stuff. But these are more rounded. Obviously they're getting more beat up with the water. But up here, you can see that's that live, live sharpness. So gotta be careful not to slip up here even more. Not bad. We got to the end. Let's check this out first. Oh, there's a little bit of a drop off out here. So I don't know. Oh. So, what's interesting about the tides here in Palau, that little fishing line, looks like somebody was up to something out here. What's interesting about these tides is that um, a little bit looks really deceptive, right? But it can be a five to six foot swing in terms of high tide and low tide. So, very easily, that whole, that whole gap could be covered up and you'd legit have to swim across it. And uh, it isn't that far, so it may not be that serious, but like I said, I'm not trying to swim right now, but you know, <laughs> just something to, to pay, be mindful of and to keep out for. Out here having to test balance. It's been a long time. Oh, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Especially because you don't know what's what could be slippery or what's not. I'm not. I'm not trying to take a spill. Oh, and there's stairs here. Look at that. So yeah, I have no idea. Made it out here to the end. Yeah, I won't go all the way out there, but there are stairs here, which is kind of cool. I again don't know why. But it gets deeper off of this side. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. But it's definitely deep enough here to have a boat. So I'm super curious right now. All right. Testing the balance on the way going back. Been a long time. I don't know, man. My feet, they don't feel super secure in these crocs. But... You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Trust the process, right? As long as there isn't anything super slick out here, it should be okay. <laughs> but you never know, man. That's really dope. I'll find out. I got another day and a half before I gotta leave. I'll find out what it's about. I'm gonna head back. I don't know how much time I killed coming out here, but I'm sure Thomas has already gotten tested and is at least in the waiting area if he's not done completely. So go head back on over here and see if we can catch up and match up the time well. But whatever it was that took this down, my guess is just gonna be the water. 
but one thing you can tell pretty much for sure is the moss that you're seeing on these pieces of coral and rock up here that's because they're submerged so looking down under here you can see a lot of that probably just got eaten away and uh caused the collapse of, of all of this out here some of these other outcroppings you'll see a lot of concrete that really stabilizes it like what you see out there and that's why it's still there so for whatever reason and you can see i don't i don't know what that pattern is but there's just something different about the way that that was built as opposed to these rocks and the patterns you're seeing here this is the thing one of the things i really love about palau i'll get to my story eventually but american history history world history i hated all history <laughs> in grade school and high school and i tolerated it in college but after getting out to places like pearl harbor in hawaii i was able to really well in a, in a nutshell being at pearl harbor just flipped the switch in my mind that oh shoot like this stuff actually happened and i never had that experience or just mindset before it's just like why are we learning about all this old junk i don't care about this but anyways i say that to say now i have an appreciation for history that i never had before and being in a place like palau which is rich with history not only of its own culture and background and their people but in terms of world history like what happened here with the world wars and uh, the crossover between japan and several other different nations nearby it's, it's pretty awesome to be able to see. And when you get to exploring Palau, it's, it's a small island nation, but there's so much here that I barely even uncovered, the, I barely scratched the surface, even though I've been here uh, over the course of five years and back now again in these two other trips since then. So, so much to explore and uh, I, I like it. If you don't like history, get out of a book and go experience it in the real world. That's, that's what I can say about that. Stuff like this, man. Like, I don't know, it's... I don't know why. I thought I heard, I thought I heard a little moving and shaking down there. But I don't know how stuff like this, that piece in particular, what's up there that probably got some rebar or something in there but i mean look at that things completely eaten out and again you see that same pattern moss on these rocks so this is all submerged it's crazy to think you're talking about a four to five foot difference there from the tide being where it is right now to being able to cover up all of this but it's wild all the way through couldn't tell from the top I think I almost wore socks today. Mm -mm. Having wet feet is uncomfortable, but having wet feet, sorry, I said that wrong. Take two. Having wet feet in socks can be uncomfortable, but having feet that are wet that you put into dry socks, especially if it's salt water, even worse. It's just natural. You don't see too much of this, but this plant, the overgrowth, got trees coming out of this stuff. It's amazing. Well, I recorded uh, this part two in the Steps to Christ series early this morning, and I'm not even gonna lie, I was all over the place with that video just because there's so many different things that I could think about and was trying to process while going through that. But there's one story as I'm out here now actually looking at this and thinking about history and World War II in particular that I think illustrates the point I was trying to express in that video. And it has to do with German Channel. All right, German Channel and the coral in German Channel. Don't let me forget, I need to make that video soon to make the point I was trying to make earlier that I could have made better. Yeah. Just gonna sit here and wait for 
Thomas to get over. He said he'd only need a few minutes, but son is cooking. I'm not trying to get cooked. Much better. Well, look at you, bro. What? Got it done, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you negative? Stay, Stay negative all day? Stay negative. All day, every day? That's yeah, how we roll, guys. Huh? <laughs> About to get clocked. Turbo! Well, look we have here. I know. <laughs> Legends in the making right here. I know, man. Ooh, Ooh, Taj. Oh, you passed again? I called last night. Yeah, you it. I called last night. Yeah. My, my flight to Guam. To, to, to I have to think so. So we have an unvaccinated people. <laughs> I wonder what would be I of that. You might not have. 50X. The house. Out here with a legend himself. Best bull driver in Palau. Yep. If Hands Palau. down. <laughs> you already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> ah. Good news is, I get to experience this for another day. Bad news is, I get to experience this for just another day. Couldn't change the flight. I was definitely trying to come back later, but it is what it is. I'll just uh, hold that one in close and be ready to come back next time. Not done yet though. Got a few more things we'll get done out here and then uh, it'll be a wrap for this time in Palau. Man. Talking about out here. Oops. It's crazy. Those colors, bro. It's so smooth. The spire, that's the one that it's looks like, like a, a spider, grand. right? It's like a the big it's one. Like a, it's huge. It's like from movies. Huh. We out here, I'll tell Evo Light. We might have a, a new drone on our hands. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> DJ, I got a competitor now. Nice. Yes, sir. This could be the one. <laughs> we out here. Phone <laughs> what? Phone <Phoner! laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't you mean like this? Closer. Uh, the sink. Don't call it to the dog. That's not nice. Seriously, Pina, sir. Rough. Too long now. Eric, what you up to over there, man? Spying. <laughs> Spying. Like ah. you take me to the airport, right? Alpi, Alpi. <laughs> 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 Dennis, the penny said. 
<laughs> Eric's on the hunt. He's on the hunt. Same guy. Who arranged the diving? I don't know. It was exactly. See? Okay. She didn't invite. She told me last minute. You didn't invite me again. This is the third time. Yeah, no, Gabby, what a great daughter. Gabby's really good. No, listen, listen. Good job, Tommy. We're proud of you, Tommy. Ellie lied. What? Hey, Ellie lied. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, thank you. Tyler. Where we at? Okay, we'll pretend that we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. We're going freaking forty. Well, why didn't going you bring out, your ticket? International Airport. I'm checking my bag. Got one of us rolling out tonight, unfortunately. $7,000 said no. Oh, a lot of kids over here. Ah, full hey. house out here at the airport. Okay, if you're coming to Guam, please respect me. Okay, I'll let you know. I'm not making the door. <laughs> 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 it's about to be a wrap but we'll be back again <laughs> the man himself the myth the legend hello sir i hate traveling <laughs> man says flying i hate saying goodbye to oh yeah 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 we agree on that we agree on that who knows? Maybe one day we won't have to anymore. That would be a good day. <laughs> Till next time. We'll be back here in a few months. <laughs> All right, man. Peace. Just like that. Trips always come to an end too soon. That's right. <laughs> Man. It's good to see you, Tommy. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the dude right there, man. The legend. How many times has he been out here since... Uh... <laughs> Definitely the most visited I saw. Yes. <laughs> Came out like twice a year for how many years? Oh, that's amazing, dude. <laughs> Isn't he just here in December? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Left in January, back again. <laughs> he might be back in December again. Probably. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to catch up out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Shout That's out, good. Thomas. Be safe, bro. Catch you on the other side, man. We out here. We out. Follow the Buff Missionary. Subscribe! Subscribe!